Hey guys, Julie here. I just got to Home Depot. I've got Bailey with me. She's in the car right now. She held a downstay for the whole ride here. Um, and I'm going to open the trunk of the car now and see what happens. One thing that I noticed at her drop off is that as soon as her owner started to open the door, Bailey was popping up to check out what's out there, trying to nose her way through. Her owner was having to repeat a lot of the commands, sit, no, sit, sit, down. And Bailey was not listening at all. So we've worked a really hard on her mentality and how serious she takes the commands. Um, and let's see what happens when I open the door. I don't want her to, I don't even want her to sit up. I definitely don't want her to rush out. Not just because of safety. Obviously we're in a busy parking lot. And I don't want my dog thinking every time a door opens, they rush out because it's dangerous. But also because of her mentality. I want her to take me seriously. And the fact that if I open a door and she starts to pop out, it means that there's something wrong altogether that we need to work on with her whole day. So let's see what happens. Good girl. That is very respectful. It means that she doesn't think there's an option to come out until she gets permission from me. Whereas before, as soon as the door was opening, she was trying to nose out. It's very rude. And it's also a sign that their owner is probably struggling in other areas. Okay, break. Good girl. And that means she can get out. Now, once she's out, it doesn't mean she can go buck wild. Okay, she can't just start pulling me all around on the leash. She still has to be respectful even though she's not in command. And that's a really good choice. I'm gonna mark that and say, good girl. Okay, it gives me a chance to shut the car door and then we're gonna heal inside. I also wanna talk about the fact that before we've even gone into the store, I have a dog who's very respectful and looking at me before she makes any choices. And really, we haven't even stepped foot in the store, but it's because of the, the things that I put her through before getting here. Down, stay in the car. Wait to get out. Don't pull me around on the leash when we get out here. You have to stay calm. That's the number one rule. If at any point she starts to get overly excited, I will correct that. It's not the time or the place. Guys, we're walking around Home Depot. She feels awesome. But think about, we've set such a tone before even walking into the store that I've set her up for success to be not only calm, but with me, compliant, relaxed. She's not struggling at all. I don't hear any whining. She's not pushing my heel. This is what it should feel like. You put this on repeat of all of these small things adding up, you're gonna get a dog who's with you. Good girl. Beautiful, beautiful. And she's looking up at me saying, what next? Heel. <laughs> Following me. Good girl. Turn the camera around. Very good. I didn't even have to tell her down. As soon as I dropped the leash, she put herself into a double down because she's in the mindset right now. Of what would Julie want? What should I do to make her happy? This is a dog who is reliable in public places. You can take her out into the public and know that she's going to listen. But it could also slip pretty easy because she has a personality and a mindset to try to butter you up. If you're trying to ask her to do something and she doesn't take you seriously, she can try to um, suck up to you to try to get out of doing it. We've seen that a couple times. She can't believe that that's an option, if that makes sense. She'll try to lick you. She'll try to snuggle up on you. Anything but working. Come, good girl. Yes, good girl. Sit. Very nice, sweetheart. So we're in a brand new place. Lots of new sounds. People are walking around. I'm sure she'd rather be doing a lot more than laying right here. <laughs> Somebody's here. Heel. So 
I actually need to stop and do some shopping. Browse through something right here that I need to find based on a picture. So I'm going to put Bailey in a downstay. And this way I can go shopping and have my dog with me. Yeah, oh, the training? No, no, I mean the nail. Oh, yeah, the nail thing. It's smaller than that. Just sit. Oh, Buying some stuff. Oh, cool. So the one in Hagerstown's out. Oh, good. I need 40 of them. You guys, look at Bailey. I needed help finding an object. And so all I do is put her in a downstay. And because she is in such a healthy, compliant state of mind, there's no fuss, there's no arguing. She just listens to me. And that way we have no problem. I can sit here and shop. Someone can help me. And we're not worried about the dog. Please remove your card.